Well, hello everyone and welcome to another review video from myself. Um, two in one month, that's uh, very unlike me, but uh, this one is particularly special. Now, as many of you know, I have been a professional photographer for coming up to eight years now, I think. Um, it seems to be much longer, but um, it's, been a, it's been a long old slog, but things are going well. Uh, the thing that wasn't going well was my back pain. Um, I've been suffering from quite severe backache, obviously sitting in front of the computer, editing photos day in, day out. Um, it's not good for the back at all. I did invest in this chair, which is the Secret Lab Amiga 2020 version, I think it is. Um, and that has helped things quite significantly, but it's still there. So I went to the chiropractor to get my back checked out and they said, have you ever considered getting a sit-stand desk? And I said, yes, I have, but they're too expensive. And they said to me, you should. You should seriously consider investing in one and that's exactly what this thing here is and boy i tell you it is absolutely fantastic uh, before i had a sort of a, just a, a, a normal desk uh, it did have cupboards which was handy uh, so i do kind of miss those and a little drawer at the front as well to keep all my rubbish in um, but this thing is just absolutely phenomenal this is the secret lab magnus pro xl uh, they do do the Magnus desk as well, uh, which is not a sit-stand desk. Um, but what they've done quite uniquely with these desks, uh, including the Magnus and the Magnus Pro, and this is one of the reasons why I went for this desk in the end, is because of the, the, um, the cable management. Uh, I'm a big stickler for not seeing any cables, apart from these ones here, don't, don't look at those. Um, I've still got to try and get these attached to the back of this uh, monitor stand somehow but the great thing with this desk is that it comes with a cable tray at the very very back here uh, and that's where all the cables are stored absolutely everything it's huge inside there and uh, you can fit endless amounts of cables in there but the really really unique feature of this is that uh, it's this is a sort of a self-powered desk so what that means is that it comes with a plug socket on the leg at the bottom down here. Uh, so you basically plug the desk into the wall and then within this cable tray at the back, there is a plug socket inside there. So all you do is you get, I've got a, a six or eight plug gang strip in there. So you just plug that gang strip into the plug socket in the desk at the top and no cables, no plugs, no nothing. There is also a, uh, a trip switch at the bottom so if you do overload it it will trip out uh, to save anything hopefully touch wood uh, blowing up um, but the majority of stuff that I'm powering off that gang strip is quite low powered I've got my um, nest hub there I've got my uh, Sonos speakers on the desk as well uh, the main thing is the PC at the bottom um, this is another reason why I went with this desk um, is that it actually comes with a or you can buy it with a PC mount um, so what the PC mount does is it basically attaches underneath the desk here and then you just clip your PC into it and all of the cables run up the leg at the back into the same cable tray so your plug socket your monitor leads your USB leads um, all go through the same cable tray. So it basically looks like the computer is kind of floating under the desk. Uh, so yeah, it looks pretty awesome. Um, I do really, really like it. Uh, and it's nice to have sort of all this sort of space underneath the desk as well. You know, there's, there's almost too much space under there, to be honest. So I'm thinking of getting maybe like a little chest of drawers or something to replace the drawers and the cupboards that I had in the, uh, in the old desk. But, um, the other thing that I love about Secret Lab is their packaging. The packaging is just second to none. 
Uh, from the moment it, this desk arrived, it came in multiple packages because I decided to go all out and buy pretty much all the accessories that they offer. I'll, I'll run through what those accessories are a little bit later, uh, but it arrived in uh, one big box for the desktop and then another box for the motorized legs. And let me tell you, it is heavy. It is really, really, really heavy. But me being impatient and wanting to get it set up, I lugged the whole thing upstairs, uh, almost broke my back doing it, which is not good with said bad back. Um, but I ended up just taking the desk out downstairs um, and then carrying all the bits up separately. But when I opened the box, the, the packaging is just so well laid out. It's very, very easy. You get a fantastic instruction manual. Everything is in its right place. There is quite a lot of sort of polystyrene plasticky packaging, which I'm not a huge fan of, but to be honest, hopefully they can recycle it, but I'd rather that than anything get damaged, to be honest. So, um, so right from the get-go, the setup was pretty easy. Uh, it would have been much easier if there was two people. So I would highly, highly recommend setting this up with two people if you can, uh, because you do risk either damaging yourself or damaging the desk. Uh, but I did manage to get it all set up on my own, as you can see from this little B-roll clip that I'm running. Uh, this, was, this clip was taken with the Insta360 ONE RS one inch camera. So it's quite cool. So if you haven't seen that, then definitely look into it. And um, I'll put a link to my review uh, of that up, up at the top here. So yeah, from there, it was basically just a case of attaching all the legs and attaching the power um, into the, the desk. And then once I had it set up, the other thing that I absolutely love about this, this desk is, um, is the fact that it comes with a magnetic mat on the top here. So the magnetic mat can be interchanged so you can customize how your desktop looks. So I went for the, um, the black one, pure black, with all the black branding on it. So I don't really like anything too flashy. I like things to be nice and clean, uh, but they do all sorts of ones. They do cyberpunk ones, they do pink ones, they do a Batman one and yeah, all sorts of stuff on there. So you can choose what you like. Um, and then basically at the front of the desk here, you've got a display panel. Uh, so this display panel basically shows you the height that the desk is currently at. You've got an up button, which raises the desk up and then a down button, which obviously puts the desk down, and then you have three presets as well. Um, to save a preset, you basically just push the S button and then whichever number you want to save it at when it's at the height you want to um, save. Um, so I've got uh, number one at my normal seated height, so the arms are level with the desk. Uh, number two is standing, and number three just raises it up ever so slightly just so I can tuck the chair underneath the desk like that. So just so you can see the standing height, I'm going to start raising it up now. Um, it does go pretty high. Um, I think 125 centimeters is the, the highest it will go. That is more than enough for even the tallest person. In fact, let's go. Let's, let's, let's go to 125. It's probably going to go out of shot. There we go. So that's 125. Now, a lot of people on reviews that I watched before I got this desk, and trust me, I watched a lot of reviews, um, were mentioning that when this is at a standing height, it wobbles. Um, in fact, I'm going to put it at my standing height and show you. Uh, I haven't found it to be that bad. Uh, this desk is currently on carpet. Uh, it's not a thick carpet, but if you did have a, quite a thick pile carpet, then it probably would wobble a bit more, but that's me pushing it pretty hard. Um, obviously the monitor's wobbling a bit because it's a massive, massive monitor, but no one is going to, you know, be standing up and pushing the desk on purpose. It's all very sort of light mouse action that people are gonna do uh, when they're standing. So uh, if you have watched reviews of, um, of this, and people are complaining about wobble, don't listen to it. It's not a problem at all. Um, it will be even better if you have it on a solid floor. Um, you can hear as well that the motors are incredibly quiet. Uh, you can hear them, but they're not obtrusive. They're not, you know, they're, they're, they don't disturb anything. So that's another really, really, really good plus. So, so what did I get with the desk? Um, I basically, as I said, I went for the, the black edition. Um, but I also got the PC mount, 
which I've um, talked about already. That is highly recommended if you do use a PC tower like I do. Um, I also got this back here, which is the um, headphone um, mount. So I've got my uh, Jabra Evolve headset uh, just hooked onto that. Um, and it, basically everything is magnetic. So this just sticks under the desk like so, and you can move it around wherever you want, just like that, um, which, is, which is brilliant. So that's a nice little feature there. Um, I also went, as you can see at the back here, we've got a rather nice sort of lighting effect um, for the RGB strip that comes with, um, that, that's specifically made for this desk, um, also made for the Magnus as well. And um, it's made by Nanoleaf, uh, which are a very good company, very well-known company. And I'm going to be honest, it's been a bit of a pain, the RGB strip. Um, I had a nightmare connecting it uh, to my Amazon account initially to use with the next. Um, so I, after that, I noticed from a bit of online research that they don't generally work with Amazon. So uh, I actually moved over to uh, Google Home. So that's why I've got this now. Um, but they are also uh, matter and thread enabled. So um, I've actually ended up, because this acts as a thread router, so I've actually ended up connecting it via that. And um, it still seems to be disconnecting every now and then. So I have actually contacted Secret Lab um, about this. So hopefully um, they will come to a resolution for me. Uh, the other thing that's an issue is that the when you have it set at the back as it should be with the light strip facing up, the plug socket in the corner over here um, sticks up. Uh, so it looks a bit ugly. Uh, what they should have done is put the light strip on the opposite side so the, the power connection is pointing down. Um, other than that, it's a beautiful strip. It looks really nice, especially at night time. I mean, this, this pretty much this whole wall is just sort of washed with, with whatever color effect you want to, you want to choose. Um, I've chosen a pretty sort of funky rainbow style one for now, but you can also do solid colors. There's loads of different themes that you can choose as well, just by pushing the remote um, that I've got hidden in the cable tray at the back, or you can use the Nanoleaf app. So yeah, I mean, if you want a bit of bling on your desk, then it's uh, definitely worth uh, worth getting. Uh, but hopefully they'll they'll iron out those issues with um, with connectivity and everything. So uh, the other thing that I love about this is the uh, the cable management. As I said, this um, this is one of the best desks you can get for your money to manage your cables. Uh, not just the cables at the back, but also cables on the desk as well, because it comes with these little red um, magnetic things, okay, that you can route your cables through. So all you literally just, it's pretty pretty strong, they just stick wherever you want them. Um, and I just use them to uh, just keep my mouse cable in place here, so it doesn't sort of flap around everywhere. I've got a USB-C connection at the back there for charging my um, my Logitech keyboard. So when it's not in use, I just tuck it into the um, cable holder at the back of the desk there. So it's all nice and neat. Um, they do also sell a cable management package, uh, which comes with these. So you, I think you do need to buy these separately, uh, but it also comes with a cable sheath that goes on the back of the leg. So if you've got cables running from your PC up the leg, which you will do, then you can also uh, magnetically attach those to the back to hide all the cables from there. So um, I mean, overall, it's just fantastic. They're not cheap. Uh, this desk on its own is £729 for the, for the Pro Edition, which is the smaller version of this one, and £829 for the XL, which is the bigger one. Um, the Pro Edition would have come from here, just out of frame, I'm afraid, to about here. Um, so this one is significantly longer and also deeper as well. Um, that's the thing, the reason why I got the pro version is because you need to take into account that a lot of the back of the desk is filled up with the cable channel. So you need to be careful of sort of comparing the sizes of the pro and the XL. Uh, if you do want uh, more des desktop space like I did, because I've got a very, very wide monitor and I've also got my speakers on each side as well, um, I wouldn't have been able to fit everything on the, uh, on the pro version. So 
That's why I stumped up a bit more extra cash for the XL. Um, and with all the accessories, uh, the RGB strip, the headphone holder, the PC mount, the cable management, it goes over a thousand pounds. So as I say, it's not a cheap desk, but for me, it was kind of a no brainer because I have been having back problems um, and obviously having an Apple watch, it just reminds me to, to stand every now and then. So as soon as my watch goes off, bang, I push the button, up I go and I stand for sort of 20 minutes or so, just do a few stretches and stuff. And, and I have noticed a significant improvement. Um, I haven't had nearly as much back pain over the last couple of weeks. So that's a thumbs up straight away. You know, it's a, it's a good investment if it helps me. Uh, get rid of that, then I'll, I'll pay whatever. It's, it's no, not a problem at all. So without further ado, let's look at a few nice clips of the desk in action. Pretty cool, I think you'd agree. Um, one thing I did forget to mention to do with the control panel uh, is that there is also a power switch on here. So you can switch the display off so you can't touch any of the buttons. So if you've got little kids like I do, um, in fact, my daughter came in the other day and went around and just spoke to me and pushed the button and it started going up and yeah. So yeah, if your kids are scampering around or you just don't want to accidentally knock it if you're sort of unplugging something, then you can just uh, turn, it, turn it off and then just flick the switch um, just to turn it on again and you're good to go. So, so yeah, that's just a, a, little, uh, a little tour of the new, uh, the new toy. Uh, well, it's more than a toy. Uh, it's pretty important. And as I said, you know, if you, if you are sitting in front of a desk working for hours and hours and hours on, on end, then do definitely, definitely look into one of these uh, because it will, it's good to stand up anyway, back pain or no back pain. Um, it's good to stre stretch and keep yourself moving and things like that. And also from a sales perspective, your voice is projected a lot better when you're standing as opposed to sitting down. So if I'm doing sales calls, then I'll put this into standing mode and I'll sort of stand up and I'll walk around the room and and uh, and do my thing. So, uh, so yeah, I cannot recommend it highly enough. And just a quick disclaimer, I have not been paid for this video. I paid my own money for this desk. All my opinions are my own, but if Secret Lab do want to send me anything in the future, then please do. <laughs> but seriously, I, I'm absolutely over the moon. So I'd just like to thank, thank the team at um, Secret Lab for creating such an amazing product. So yeah, that's been my review of the Secret Lab Magnus Pro XL and that's also me signing off and I hope to speak to you again soon. Take care.